Oh, I just don't know. Have you ever had to talk to somebody that they're really important and you just don't know the right words to say? That's what I'm doing right now, just trying to figure out words that sound good enough. I, I want to be understood, but I don't want to sound dumb. Oh, this is so hard. You know what? I think today's lesson is kind of about the same thing. Having the right words. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. You know, there are a lot of things that we just don't know about Jesus. What was his favorite food? What kind of games did he like to play when he was growing up? How many brothers and sisters did he have? But there's one thing we do know. Jesus loved to talk to his Father, God. In fact, Jesus made a habit of prayer. He would even slip away early to spend time in the quiet with God before the crowd showed up. His closest friends, the disciples, saw how important prayer was to Jesus. But they had some of the same questions you might have. When should I pray? Oh, what kind of words should I use? How do I talk to someone I can't see with my eyes? One day, Jesus took time alone to pray, as usual, and when he was finished, one of his friends got up the courage to ask, Lord, teach us to pray. Now, Jesus didn't get frustrated with his friends for not understanding how to pray, and he didn't give them this long list of complicated words. When thou prayest, thou must speaketh thusly. And Jesus didn't tell them to set aside five hours every day to pray. Begin praying promptly at 6.41, then go till 11.07 with exactly one break at 9.22 a.m. for a sip of water. Instead, Jesus gave his friends a simple example. When you pray, this is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Well, okay, that's great. It's simple, it's direct. So does that mean we just memorize that prayer and say it over and over to God? Well, actually it is a great idea to memorize that prayer, but God likes it when we get creative, when we take the ideas from that prayer and make them our own. Let's take a look. Father, may your name be honored. Because of Jesus, we can all call God Father. He's like the best parent ever, a perfect one. And there is no one else in the whole world like God. May your kingdom come. A prayer is not making God do something for us. God is a king. He made everything and everyone, and his kingdom comes when we show our love to him by giving his love to those around us. Give us each day our daily bread. Okay, let's see, we got white bread, rye, uh, the weird nutty kind, gluten-free, Kaiser roll, tortilla. Actually, this part of the prayer isn't just about bread or really not just about food. It's about humbly asking God for everything we need every single day, including food, clothes, shelter, connection with other people, kindness, patience, and grace, the things we need in fresh supply every single morning. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us. There is not a single day that we do not mess up in some way. You snap at your little brother. You laugh along when other kids are making fun of the new girl. You sneak an extra cookie without asking. Jesus said it's important to start fresh each day, to ask for forgiveness and freely offer forgiveness to others who have hurt you too. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Jesus knew that every day you would face tough situations that would threaten to trip you up. Times that you would maybe be tempted to not act in a way that showed love to others. And in those moments, you can use God's strength as a, as a lifeline to carry you through. Okay, there is a lot packed into that one simple prayer. But if you found a quiet place and put it into your own words, it might sound a bit like this. Dear Father, there is no one like you. Please help all of us to show your love to each other. Give us everything that we need to get through today. Please erase all the wrong things I've done and help me not to hold on to the wrong things others have done to me. Give me your strength 
to keep from doing anything that hurts you or anyone else today. In your name, amen. You can use these ideas from Jesus' prayer to talk to God anytime, anywhere. Whether it's 20 seconds or 20 minutes, it fills God's heart with joy when you choose to connect with Him. That was it. The disciples needed the right words. What to say to God? There's nothing or anything more important. So Jesus said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. But in today's words, what does that mean for us? It means you can talk to God and tell him how awesome he is. You can tell him, God, you are amazing. Everything you made, it's so beautiful. Look around. You know, you can also say, hey, God, give us our food today. And I have this thing that I need help with. You know, there might be some other things that you just want to talk to him about because he wants to hear you talk to him. You might have some things you need to ask forgiveness for. And the last thing, you might need help just doing the right thing. It's not always easy, but God's there and he wants you to talk to him. He's gonna love it no matter what you say.